everyone, I'm Megan. We are in a series called Big and Strong. We are going to hear about different people in the Bible who could do amazing things because they trusted their big and strong God. Our big idea tells us more about that. It says, I can trust God because he will give me what I need. Now repeat that after me. Ready? I can trust God because he will give me what I need. Yes, great job. God loves us so much and he gives us what we need. Now, we are going to worship God and tell him how much we love him. We are going to sing about how God cares for us and gives us what we need. Let's sing big and strong. Let's sing big and strong together. Can you guys move around? Good job. We're going to sing my God is big and strong. Let's sing it out together. My God is big and strong. We sang all about how God is big and strong. You can trust what God says. That means when he says he will do something, he will do it. He loves you and will give you what you need to do what he asks you to do. Now, I wanna show you something very special. Do you know what this is? That's right, it's a Bible. This is God's special book for us. And today we are going to hear a story from the Bible about a man named Gideon. Now let's watch our Bible story. So let's put on our thinking caps and our listening ears and hear our story. Slapstick Theater, Gideon's 300 Men. This is Gideon, hey. who was a judge of Israel. In the time when Gideon lived, a group of people called the Midianites were taking over the Israelites' land Get out of here! And the Israelites were starving. So the Israelites asked God for help. God chose Gideon to rescue the Israelites and gave him the power to lead an army of Israelites. One day, Gideon and his army got up early and came close to the Midianite camp. God told Gideon that he had too many warriors with him. Really? So God told Gideon to let all the men who were scared go home. All right, uh, you can go home. Phew. So 22,000 men went home, and Gideon was left with only 10,000. But God told Gideon that he still had too many men with him. Uh, what, really? He told Gideon to bring the men down to the water, 
and that God would give them a test. Okay. Gideon did as God asked, and then God said, Divide the men in two groups. In one group, put all those who cup water in their hands and lap it up with their tongues like dogs. In the other group, put those who kneel down and drink with their mouths in the stream. Only 300 men drank from their hands. God told Gideon, with these 300 men, I will rescue you and give you victory over the Midianites. Send all the others home. So Gideon did as God said. You can go home. That night, God told Gideon to get up and go down to the camp to listen to what the Midianites were saying. Hey, Pura, let's go. Gideon and his servant Pura went down to the camp and saw the huge army. There were too many men and camels for Gideon to even count. Well, that's a lot of camels. But Gideon heard a soldier telling another man about a dream he had that showed them that God would give Gideon victory over the Midianites. When Gideon heard this, he worshipped God. Come on! Then Gideon and his army of 300 men went down to the Midianite camp. They blew their horns and held torches in their hands. They yelled out and the Midianite soldiers rushed around in a panic and tried to escape. Then God caused the Midianites to start fighting against each other. Because of God's power, Gideon and his army had victory over the Midianites that day. Wow, with only 300 men, God helped Gideon beat the Midianites. This happened because Gideon trusted God and did what God said. You can do what God says too. He loves you so much and always wants to help give you what you need. Let's read a special verse from the Bible right now. Uh-oh, wait, it's all covered in bubbles. Can you help me pop them all so we can see our Bible verse? Let's get popping. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, wait, that's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people, let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here and pop them out of sight. That's it, all right, all right, keep going, yay! We're almost there, we're at the pop. Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left. Okay, ready, go, one, two, three, keep going. That's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble. Oh. Pop them over there, pop them on the ground, and pop them in the air. Pop them everywhere! Yay! Good job popping the bubbles, everyone. And look what you did. We can see our Bible verse now. Let's read it together. It says, be on guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Our Bible verse reminds us that we can be strong and courageous. We can be big and strong by trusting God. Now, I want us to remember this verse, and what better way to learn these words than by singing a song? Let's all sing 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Let's sing 1 Corinthians 16, 13. We're gonna start out singing some woes, okay? So I wanna hear you guys sing it out. Let's go.
last time really loud. First Corinthians 16, 13. Let me hear those woes. That was a great song. Our verse tells us we can be strong and courageous. One way we can do that is by trusting God. God knows you and loves you, and because of that, you can trust God to help you. We can find out more about how we can trust God by hearing from Winston as he shares with us stories from our Super Scuppets. I heard that the Super Scuppets are looking for the bad Scuppet. Let's see if the super scuppets can stop him. So put on your listening ears and your thinking caps, and let's watch this episode of Super Scuppets. On a cold, dreary day in Scuppeton, Han was working in his lab when it... Hmm. Oh, I got it! When it exploded and gave everyone super power! Thus, the formation of the super scuppets a group of heroes who are committed to fighting for truth, hope, and the Scuppetin way. These are the adventures of the Super Scuppets. The bad Scuppet had escaped and was up to something sneaky, but the Super Scuppets were hard at work trying to figure out how to defeat him again. Look, I made a new superhero costumes. See? Pizza Man! Oh, that's nice, Bestos. Thank you. Do you want one, Toos? No sign of him anywhere. What is he doing? Pizza Man! Ugh, why did I ask? I think I figured out how to track the bad Scuppet. How? If he is using robots, he has to be able to control them. If I can figure out how he's controlling them, I can track his location. That's so smart, Han! Now, if only I could get close enough, I could find out exactly how he's doing it. I don't think there'll be a problem! Let's go! What are these? Yeah, stop that! That's right! It's a little electric canary. What? There's no time to figure that out. We've got to get rid of these things. No! There's so many of them! I have an idea, but you guys have to get everyone out of here. And you have to get out of here, too. No way, Sora. There are way too many of them for you to take on on your own. You have to trust me. I can do this. We trust you. Be careful. We have to act fast. Get everyone out of here. And Han, figure out how the bad Scuppet is controlling them so we can track him. On it. Okay. Good luck, Electric Canary. Come on, Flapios. Come on, Purple Lady. I will keep you safe with marshmallows. I got it. Electric Canary, you're clear. Okay, now get out of here. You get it, Electric Canary! I told you you could trust me. Did you figure it out, Professor Orange? Yes, I did. Now we can track the bad scuppet as soon as he turns on his robots. Looks what I made! Mmm, that looks good, Commander Jellybean. Dives in! I think he meant dig in. And with that, the Super Scuppet stopped the first of the Bad Scuppet's robot attacks on Scuppetin. They would go on to fight another day, but for today, they celebrated their victory and enjoyed some perfectly toasted marshmallows. Wow, that was one big toasted marshmallow. But did you see how the Super Scuppets trusted each other? Because the Super Scuppets trusted Zara, they believed that she was going to do what she said she'd do. And Zara was able to defeat the robots. Han was able to figure out a way to track the bad Scuppet. And Hector and Bestos kept the others safe. You know, God wants us to trust him too. 
God knows how to help us be strong and we can trust God to give us what we need. Let's learn more about that with Winston and Pastor Kurt. Let's all put on our listening ears and thinking caps and meet up with them now. Hi guys, I'm Kurt. And I'm Winston! Welcome to my Super Scuppet Comic Headquarters! Winston, I love seeing all this Super Scuppet stuff because I love Super Scuppets. Hey Winston, do you think I could be a Super Scuppet? Um, I don't think so. You're not a Scuppet. Aw oh, man. Okay, well, let's just pretend I am a Scuppet. Okay. What superpower would I have? Like, maybe I could be super strong, or I could have a super hammer. Mm -hmm. Give you the ability to launch stickers out of your hands! What? Uh, is that really a superpower? Of course it is! I would love that power! Then, you could have stickers wherever you want, and if you were battling, facing the bad scuppet, you could launch stickers at him and he gets stuck! It'd be perfect! Hey, maybe you should be a super scuppet! Well, maybe I could make that work, but hey, I wanted to tell you about my favorite part of the Super Scuppets episode today. Oh yeah? What was it? Well, I loved when the electric canary faced off against all of those little robo electric canaries. That was awesome, right? So awesome. And I liked how Zara knew that she had what she needed to defeat them. But I'm sure it was a little scary for her to face off against so many of them. Yeah, but she said she could do it. So we trusted that she could do it. That's great. You know, that reminds me of a story in the Bible about a guy named Gideon. Oh, what happened to him? Did he face many robots too? <laughs> no, they didn't have robots back then, but he did face a huge army with just 300 men. Now, to us, it may seem like Gideon didn't stand a chance, but he had someone super powerful on his side. Who? Was it Hector Swift? more powerful than Hector Swift. He had God on his side. He told Gideon to face this giant army with just a few hundred men. Gideon trusted God and they won the battle. Whoa, that's so awesome. God is so strong. He is, and we can trust God to give us what we need. When we trust God, that means that we believe that God will do what he says he's going to do. Um, um, well God me to do big things? Yeah, God has a very special plan for each and every one of us, and he will give us everything we need to do what he's asking us to do. He will make us feel strong, even if we feel weak. Whoa, God is like the most awesome, powerful superhero team leader ever. He is. Remember friends, you can trust God to give you what you need. He loves you so much. And so do we. We'll see you back here next time for another episode of the Super Scuppets. Bye! See ya! I loved hearing from Winston and Pastor Kurt and seeing how the Super Scuppets story today helped us remember our Bible story about Gideon. In both stories, they had to trust God even when things seemed hard and scary. God wants us to trust Him too, just like Gideon did. We can trust God by doing what he tells us to do in the Bible. God loves us so much and he knows what's best for us. We can show we love God and trust him when we do the things he says. So let's say our big idea one more time to remind us of that. Ready? I can trust God because he will give me what I need. Let's say a prayer right now and talk to God. Put five fingers here, five fingers there, and put them together for a prayer. Dear God, Thank you for loving me. Thank you for promising to give me the things I need. Help me to trust you and do the things you say. I love you so much. Amen. Thanks for watching Church at Home with me. I have had so much fun with you. Don't forget to have a grown up help you go to saddlebackkids.com for some fun crafts and activities for you to learn more about Gideon and our big and strong God. And we would love to see you at Saddleback Kids too. So check out our campus locations and come visit us. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye.